Hello and welcome to TechBoost. Today I'm going to show you how to install memory into a Dell PowerEdge T640 server. Take special note to review memory terms and their relevance including memory rank, chip count, and DIMM size. There are a total of 24 DDR4 DIMM slots on the motherboard, with 12 DIMMs available in a single CPU configuration, and 12 more when two CPUs are installed. The PowerEdge T640 system supports DDR4 registered DIMM slots and load-reduced DIMM slots with memory bus frequencies up to 2933 megatransfers per second. The system can support up to 3 terabytes of memory with two processors using R or LR DIMMs. Alternatively, the system can support 12 NV DIMMs for a total of 192 gigabytes. Since there are many possible configurations, we suggest reviewing the quick specs in the description below to identify optimal balanced memory placements. To begin, make sure the server is powered off and the power cord is unplugged. Ensure the light on the power button is completely turned off to ensure there is no residual power remaining on the motherboard. To open the system, lift the latch found on the side and remove the panel to reveal the interior. Next, you will have to remove the air shroud and lift it up to reveal the memory banks. Each slot on the motherboard is numbered from A1 through A12 for the first CPU, and B1 through B12 on the second, indicating the order in which they should be loaded. Please refer to the diagram on the screen to ensure you are loading the memory in the proper order. To install memory into its DIMM slot, align the memory with the proper slot and press down, ensuring both retainer clips snap into place and the stick is securely installed. Repeat until all DIMMs are placed in the proper location. Lastly, you will need to replace the air shroud and reattach the outer panel. Please check out our how-to videos covering processor, RAM, hard drive, and video card installations, as well as general product overviews for this and other systems. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy requesting more content.